Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be watching. Jeff Hudson here from United Computer Consultants. Welcome to the channel and welcome to this particular video. In a previous upload, I discussed how to efficiently use sorting and filtering in very large spreadsheets. This particular spreadsheet, which is downloadable for free in the path shown in the description below, covers the sales for various information for a uh, two to three year period. So it's a pretty large spreadsheet, it goes down well over 2,000 rows. What I'd like to do is to show you how to analyze this data by using a pivot table. I've inserted a pivot table in this particular worksheet and I've added the shipped date in the columns up in here, the country and the order ID in the row in the rows and the quantities down here in the uh, the worksheet itself, in the cells themselves. Now if I wanted to see the information and scroll down, I've got bits and pieces spread everywhere here. Uh, there are some numbers that appear occasionally, not good for analysis. So what I'm going to do is to show you how to use grouping and ungrouping. Now first of all, I want to group the dates. The first date is the 10th of July and if I right click on that particular date and group the dates, Excel says how do you want to group them? Well I want to group them by months initially so I'll click on months and choose OK. And there are the months and as I can see the uh, numbers now uh, are much more easily read. So they're grouped by months. I see down here under the countries the various order IDs uh, which may be invoice numbers who knows what um, uh, could possibly be that as well as an order ID but they're spread also uh, in uh, a fairly unreadable fashion so what I'm going to do is to right click on oops my apologies right click on uh, one of the numbers and group and I'll group by every 50. So I want to compress them into every 50s in the numbers. And that's exactly what Excel does. It's now made it very, very easy for me to uh, analyze the data uh, by the months, remembering that this is, the, uh, this is over a number of years. So if I wanted to break that information down into years as well as months, then what I would need to do would be to go to the row labels and click on one of the months and ungroup. You see how it's put it back to where it was. Now I'll right click and I will group. But this time I'll group by months and years. You'll notice that in Excel when I click it doesn't remove the, the previous selection. Now let's see what I see. We'll click OK and there are the years up across the top there. I also notice next to the years are the collapse and expand buttons. So if I wanted to quickly see what 2010 looked like, I could very easily collapse 2008 and 2009 and there are the figures for 2010. And I might say to myself, look, um, uh, here I don't want to see them broken up by 50s, I want to compress them further and I want to see them by 100. So if I click group again, I'll group them by the numbers of 100. And when I click OK, there they are now grouped by 100s down there. We'll expand the years again, 2008 and 2009, and I can much more easily analyse the data by using grouping. So hopefully you found this uh, useful. Uh, it's a very, very good way to analyze uh, large worksheets using, the, using a pivot table and uh, by grouping the information. I use the right mouse button. The commands, the grouping commands are also up here in the, in the analyze uh, area. Um, but I tend to use the uh, I, I 
tend to use the right mouse button which gives me all of the commands it saves some time again thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and we also of course love likes and comments see you next time